What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you've watched the last few episodes, you already know we are trying to do a bike for a show on March 9th. We've only got a week away. But if you guys stay tuned till the end, you will be the ones getting to see it first because the video is gonna come up on Saturday instead of Sunday and I'm gonna post it early so you guys can check it out because we're not at the show until two o'clock. But bikes and primer, let's go check it out. All right guys, we're probably not in the best painting conditions right now. Uh, looks like it's gonna rain. So I did already lay primer. I already did body work. You can see us all nice and filled in. I only did it in certain spots like there, there. I didn't bother with some of the bigger areas because I just didn't find it necessary, but I am in love with this frame. One of my favorites so far, without a doubt, but I am going to uh, paint if it stops doing that. All right, it's not quite raining yet, so with it being nice out, I went ahead and I'm spraying some of that brown. So like I said, this is a patina job, so we're gonna spray the brown, the black, and then the color of the bike, which you guys will see later. Once that's all finished and dried, we'll add the grill mesh to there, and we can start final assembly, and that's when you guys can really see her. I'm gonna let this dry, hopefully the rain holds off, and we can go to the black. All right, I was able to lay the black. It's not raining yet, um, but while I'm waiting, I need to go ahead and finish this stuff. I did run by the Lowe's and pick up this uh, heavy duty construction adhesive. It looked easier, there's a lot more to it, and it is white, they didn't have clear that I could find, but I'm not too worried. If it works, that'll be great. The other stuff did work, just doesn't have enough of it. Whatever, I'll let you guys know how it works. Talk time's out, but I make a move Don't think twice now, you got things to prove I'm not playing, I'm not hard to get Cause when I saw you, there was nothing else Black and white, you guys don't get to see the color yet, but it's done. It is now fully painted. I even got runs in it. And guess what? It's a rat rod style paint job, so it doesn't matter. Those runs are just gonna help you sand through a little easier. Cause like I said, once this is all dry, which is probably gonna take a few days from what I've seen, I wanna sand only areas where the sun could have faded the paint. That's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna throw on a super clear coat and she'll be good to go. All we got left now is to do those cages and those grills in the back. Can't do that till it's dry. See you later. Scotch-Brite finisher pad that I have on here. Does super cool stuff to aluminum. And then I thought what would be really neat is to come in and really go on the outside of the aluminum and get it all swirly, but then only use a Scotch-Brite on just the center. And I think that came out super cool. You can see how it's got that brushed aluminum look. 
and then it's got that really cool swirly backdrop and then it really brings out the bead roll which i'm super happy with got ahead went ahead and we did the wet sanding on the legs the, the, on the fork legs the bars and the headlight brackets and the headlight and that came out super cool exactly what i was thinking in my head i can't wait for you guys to actually see the color i know it's black and white and it's weird please just stay with me don't skip to the end trust the process watch this and let's just keep my views up I, I appreciate it i do but anyway we gotta wait for that frame to dry then i can wet sand it and then everything everything's going to clear and i got the good clear good clear coat that i'm going to be i'm going to be using yeah so all right let's get back to work all right guys new day and i have got the frame done it's in patinaed it's ready to go now we add clear it's sunday and my hope is is that if i can get everything done today on sunday tomorrow i have a day off full day on the frame can completely get it built i still got something else i got to do to the trophy but let's go check out the frame uh, i gotta turn you back to black and white sorry there you go all right let's check it out all right we got everything on here i know it's hard to see but the patina is all in and sanded down all the other parts are sitting over here waiting for clear so we're gonna go do that these are the this is the clear coat I'll be using now we may have an issue using this kind of clear coat because it is a 2k clear with these rust-oleum paint colors because well they're not the same these are like a lacquer and I don't know so it may give it a chemical reaction but with this kind of build that's okay we want it to look old and decrepit and crusty so if it starts to crack through the clear like it'll do cool with me all right let's get it sprayed all right one can down i'm going to throw another can of clear on everything but so far everything's coming out i know i know you can't really tell but you can see the shine in it and that's what i want is that somebody just painted over rust and that's the look we got so that's what i'm going for but it's coming out so far so good all right guys today's final assembly i thought i'd show you really quick maybe if some of you don't know sometimes when you're trying to put a skinnier tire on a fatter rim it tends to want to lift on one side and not the other. So something that uh, a buddy Warren Wong told me, some of you might know him, was to take wire ties and wrap them around the wheel. Get them in each and as you're pumping it up, tighten each one. And that way it'll stop the tire from wanting to pull on one end and not on the other. Let me show you. So the frame's still out drying. It's actually dry, it's fine. Uh, while it's hanging in the air, I found it easier to go ahead and try to get these grills on. These are the grills that are gonna go behind the back dimple dies for the tail dragger part. Uh, got the one done already because I wanted to see how it was gonna happen on, off camera, not making sure you guys aren't sitting here watching me fiddle. Actually fits really well. Let me show you, we'll go install this one. So it just slides in here, like so, bam. And then I'll clamp it down, and then we're going to hammer around it. By doing that, it actually lets it lay flat so that I can lay the adhesive down on there and make sure that it's actually getting to the metal. Um, what I'll probably do is paint the inside of here black so that you don't see the white, because all I could get was white epoxy. Just get me a glob, push it into the comb. Do I care if people see this? Not really. Still want it to look decent. Alright, let that dry. Then we can start assembly. Let's fall deep down love. Take 
tick-tock time's out, but I make a move Don't think twice now, you got things to prove I'm not playing, I'm not hard to get Cause when I saw you, there was nothing else You got dreams and I got dreams, so let us open up a bottle
There's been enough waiting. Let me introduce to you what I am calling Rat Tail. Check it out. So what do you guys think? Comment below, let me know how you're digging the bike. If you like the build, do you like the patina? Comment below, let me know. I'm digging it. I haven't really got to go ride it yet, which I'm gonna go do now. Hopefully, I see you guys at the show, whoever can make it. And I did wanna give a big thank you to everyone who contributed in this build, which will be Chuck on my wheels for Chuck Z wheels. We're gonna have on my seat, which is gonna be dope, Leatherworks. He did the seat work on that. I'm gonna link everybody in the description below. All the parts came from Lawless Bicycles. And as always, thank you to Anchor Lube for uh, having our back. So we appreciate everybody. Links are in the description below. Uh, I gotta do some more work on the trophy. So if you guys wanna stick around, that's what we're gonna go do. If not, thanks for watching. Be right back. All right guys, if you stuck around, just need to finish this trophy. I had John over at Gearhead Customs cut this out for me. Seabird Customs top pick, super cool. Not 100% sure where I want it. I think that actually looks kind of cool. I like that right there. I was thinking about let's make it a big, huge beast of a trophy. I don't know. I think right here works. Just need to clean the paint off. We'll take weld that on there. And then I think we're done. Oh, what you, what you doing over there? Looking, looking all hot. That's it guys, there you go. So, hopefully, you guys stayed till the end, you got to see that, super cool. Hopefully one of you guys get to take it home to show up at the show. That would be super cool too. I don't know if there's any rules against me picking a frame that I may have built. I don't think there is because this is my trophy and I can do what I want with it. So, if I see someone who's done something with one of my builds and they've, they've really gone over the top, they could possibly win too, so why not? But anyway, Again, guys, comment below. Let me know what do you think of the new build. And I think I'm going to probably take a little break. Uh, this one took a lot out of me. So you may not see a few videos for a couple weeks. But I'll be working in the background. And I just want to say I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you again. Give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed the build series. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. That would be cool too. Thanks, guys. See you soon.